Tonight on Category 5 Technology TV, we're going to show you the poor man's wireless microphone, as far as that goes. Now, as you can see, I'm an awful distance away from the camera. A wireless microphone can cost two, three hundred dollars, and you may receive some interference, a little bit of some strange anomalies in the sound, but as you can hear tonight, even though I'm probably a, a good couple hundred feet away from the camera, uh, you can hear me just fine. Completely wireless, uh, nothing uh, to be seen. And as far as wireless goes, I'm not actually using a wireless pack. But this is great for conducting interviews, uh, if you need to do something in the field, and you want to be flexible, you want to be able to move around, here's an opportunity to do that. So with a wireless pack costing in and around $200 to $300, what could this possibly cost? Sounds great. What if I told you it was $5? That's why it's the poor man's microphone pack. And I'm about to show you, as we head back into the studio, exactly how this works. You're going to be amazed at how simple this is. It's almost like a life hack, if you will, because it is just so unbelievably simple. And we see videos that promote, you know, buying a Zoom recorder and a lapel microphone and then sticking the Zoom in your pocket and things like that. As I mentioned there in the video just before the show that I recorded, um, you can buy a wireless mic pack that will connect to your camera and it's several hundred dollars. Right. And then you're susceptible to interference and everything else. Um, so a lot of times what we'll do is we'll stick a lapel on or we'll use a, a hidden microphone and stick a, a recorder in our pocket. Mm -hmm. But what is true about 2017 that was not true five years ago or 10 years ago, especially? Yeah, it was 2018, right? 2018, that's right. <laughs> that's right, time travel. <laughs> what is true? What do we all have in our pocket? Do we all have a Zoom recorder? No. What do we have? Cell phone. We've got our smartphones. So, do you remember Auphonic? We had them on the show uh, just a few yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, and it was good. Yeah, so check this out. So, this, uh, this program here, well, hey, this was Walmart. Thanks, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing. Yeah, I'm on the air. I might want to uh, <laughs> just kind of, like, tell her to, like, quiet down over here. Uh, hey, darling. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Mute. I hate Facebook. <laughs> when it comes to like we're live on the air and this is like that's what that's what happens oh, amazing i am so glad you didn't send me some sweet nothings <laughs> <laughs> do you remember a phonic i do remember a how do we get off track i don't even know a phonic is uh, an audio uh tool that we showed on the show yes. check it out uh on our past episodes do a quick search for a phonic on our website and they actually have an app Let's bring it up on your screen so that you can see it. Look at that. Okay, it's the most simple thing. Hey, please add recordings. Sweet. Okay, so we all have a smartphone in our pocket. Mm -hmm. With the Auphonic app, which is available for free, it doubles as a recorder. Nice. And a high-end one at that. Now, if you've got the new iPhone, sorry, you're out of luck, but my Android device has a headphone jack combination microphone jack. Oh, that's so right. They don't know. Yeah, okay. They're co combined into the, yeah. the one jack, right? So depending on what you plug in is what it does. So let's get a quick overhead view. And for under $5, and the link is cat5.tv slash lapel, for less than $5, you can pick up this cheap little mic that, uh, turn that over that as you heard, black on white. There, there you, you go. go. As you heard there in my demo, uh, it actually sounds pretty good. So this microphone simply plugs into our uh, phonic recorder, uh, which is available for your device, uh, as long as you've got this microphone input on your device, and then we simply hit record. And when we do, you can see that the levels on a phonic are starting to move as I speak. And I can hit record, and there we go, it's recording my audio. So this is a trick that we've used for years in video production, okay. which is to have a separate audio source to the video. So. Home, pl home users, we tend to think about the audio needs to come from the camera. Right. As per here tonight, our microphones are not at all connected to the camera. The That's camera right. is strictly video, and our microphones go in through an audio processor into the same computer. So for you, if you're producing video, you use this to record your audio, and then you use your video camera to record the video, and then afterwards, you simply sync up the audio. 
and then you end up with what you saw there in my demonstration video. So sounds Simple. fantastic. It's nice and close, so we can get this right on. So in my case, I had it uh, clipped onto my shirt here with my coat over top of it, uh, which screens some of the wind noise. And again, this microphone is available for under $5. That's crazy. And I do recommend that you check out the Aphonic app. Check this out. It's nice and simple. It's still recording. And as I talk into the microphone, it's like that. And as you know from Aphonic, and I think I just lost connection. Oh, there we go. It's wirelessly connected, obviously. I don't have any wires going here. Uh, so there you go. So then I hit pause, and then I can hit save recording there, and it'll just save to my, uh, my file system, and that's what it looks like. And then in order to actually use it, I need to save to file, or in my case, what I like to do is I share, and when I share, I share it to my Google Drive. Right. And then I've got access to it from all my devices, and I can bring it up on my computer and so on, and I don't have to connect anything to my phone. Right. Um, so that's pretty brilliant. So one thing to be aware of this, though, is if you do have a large audio file before you share to your Google Drive or something, be aware sure. that you might want to be on Wi-Fi. Might want to be, but I mean, it's a wave file. It's audio only. It's not HD video coming off of that. Um, so it's not really big. So my demonstration today, including all the shenanigans getting everything set up, was 90 megabytes. Yeah, so see, and that's not, not bad. Much. But if somebody's got, say, like a one gig plan, Sure. Yeah. yeah. You, you want to use Wi-Fi if you've got it, yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Good point. Um, so check out the Aphonic app. Uh, it's called Aphonic Edit. It's available in your app store for any of your devices. Um, check it out. It's a great recorder. And it also, incidentally, connects to your Aphonic account if you've got it set up to do so. And then you can automatically process the audio just like you saw, but you'll do it from your phone. So all of the levels will get matched up. Everything will get nice and clean for you. And uh, then it will sound absolutely fantastic. In our case, I import it into my video editor mm -hmm. and then I run it through Aphonic anyways. So yep. it's fantastic. For less than the price of a latte, we just solved the problem of being able to walk 100 meters away from my camera and still pick up perfect crystal clear audio that will later be dubbed in and edited in to, uh, to match up with the video. Cool. Very cool.